Hi everybody, it's Crafting Just Because with Chris Cowan. And today I am playing with the Crafting With You bundle that has this set and coordinating dies to go with it. And we're not going to use a lot of the crafting pieces of it, but we're going to create a little lip balm, a lip balm holder that was inspired by the Paper Pixie. But first I wanted to get um, our stamping out of the way and do a little tag that we're going to put on it. So I'm going to use um, some of the Stylish Shapes dies, and I'm going to use the very smallest circle. And we are just going to cut that out of basic white cardstock. Get a tiny little piece here. Go ahead. Oops. Make sure that's on there. We're going to die cut out our circle. Okay. So now we can stamp our little sentiment. get this out of the way. So I'm going to come in with, um, I'm using this masterfully made um, designer series paper to make the project. So I want to stamp with some berry burst and I'm going to come in and I'm going to put with love left a spot up at the top because I also want to use the little heart that's in this set. So dual purpose. I'm getting all my stamps dirty in this set, which is exactly what I like to do. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp that little heart right down there in the middle. Okay, then we can close our ink up. And now let's get to making that fun box. So let's let this dry. I'm going to just scoot that up in that corner. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. And I want a piece of designer series paper that is three and three eighths by five. So let's see if this is five inches. It is. Is it exactly five? A little more. So let's do three and three eighths. And then let's trim this to five. Okay. And on that three and three eighths inch side, I'm going to score it at three quarters of an inch, at one and a half inches, at two and a quarter inches, and at three inches. Okay, then we're gonna rotate it to the five inch side we're going to score it at three eighths of an inch, one and one eighth of an inch, three and seven eighths of an inch, and four and five eighths of an inch. Okay. Then we're gonna fold and burnish all of our score lines. So let me get my bone folder here. Let's 
So this little holder will hold like a regular size chapstick, like a Hertz Bees or one of the EOS ones. Now it'll be a little tight for the EOS ones, but they will fit in here. And I know they have those right now, I believe on sale at Costco, at least in California they did. Okay, so now we've got that all fold and burnished. Now I'm gonna show you how um, we need to trim it. So, starting on the shortest end, I'm gonna cut the two up the score line, up those two boxes, take that off and tab it, and do the same thing at the very top. I'll lay this down flat once I, um, once I get it all cut up, okay? Then I'm going to cut off this next box. And then I'm gonna cut this one in half. And I'm gonna wedge it a little bit. So I'll sh do a little bit like that. And then we're gonna keep this next piece all the way on except for wedge the top. And do a half that box as well. Let's cut down that and wedge and wedge. Okay, so this is what we have going so far. Okay. Now we got to work on the bottom part. So the bottom part, we're going to cut on the score line. And then I'm going to leave that one whole and just wedge the top. And then I'm going to do half. I'm going to cut on the score line here and do half this and wedge. I'm going to take both these boxes off on this next section, just like that. And then we're going to do a half on this one and wedge. Okay, so now I'm going to lay it down so you can see exactly how I cut it. Okay, I know with this paper it's a little hard to see the lines. Maybe if I turn it over this way too. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add adhesive to our tab side. We're going to fold this flap over, fits perfectly. And we're going to fold in those. I like, to, I'm going to add a little adhesive. Um, oh, that's the top of my box. Sorry, on the bottom of my box, I'm going to add a little adhesive to the little flap here so that it doesn't come undone and the chapstick doesn't fall out. So I just did that there. Then you'd add your chapstick. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hole punch here and I'm going to cut a half, a tiny little circle just out of the top like that. So you could put your finger in there and get the, the chapstick. Okay, so we're going to pretend we have our chapstick in there. And then I'm going to come in with my little tag. And I'm just going to poke a hole right there. And I'm going to come in that'll match with some ribbon and we're just going to tie it around the outside of the box. So not a lot of stamping, quick and easy project, but totally using this stamp set for more than just crafting, which is, you know, sometimes 
really nice because it shows you the versatility in the set. I think I need that a little longer. Hold on. kind of trying to push my I want my bow to be just on the side here sorry if I'm off camera for a minute there just trying to get it all in place I'll bring it all back in I tend to pull it close to me when I'm making bows and such And that's all she wrote for our little project today, you guys. Simple project, but it is so cute. And then just add a little lip balm. These would be great for a little party favor or a little thing to leave for um, a coworker at work. Just to show you love them. So until next time, my friends, I will see you later. Bye-bye.